Hello everybody, Mike Allen here, and you are tuned in to the right place. First off, we're going to go through our NFL picks. See where we all stand, myself, Nate, and Joe. And plus see how you fared. Then Rebecca Paddock, the Libertarian candidate for state senator for the state of Texas, running against John Cornyn, will be on to talk about her latest run-in with a well-known syndicated national radio talk show host, uh... You can't really tell you who it is, but her initials are Ann Coulter. Plus, all the other things that are happening in the news, we're going to get her take on it and what she would do if she were elected. So stick around. Phone number 866-225-5401. Tweet me at Armed Radio 1. Hashtag it Armed Radio so I can see it. Hold on to your hats, folks. It's going to be a fun one. I'm Mike Allen. This is the Armed Radio Global Network. And you, you're on the air. Are you an entrepreneur looking to get your business off the ground? Or are you an established business in need of a plan to present to an investor? Keljo Solutions can provide you with the plan that presents you and your business to others in an organized, professional package. With affordable rates, we have the plan to fit your budget. Visit us on the web at www.keljo.net and watch your business grow. Hi, now I know you hear Joe Rocks and the Dog on their weekly restaurant reviews on Night Talk, 10 p.m. Eastern. And boy, these two like to eat, right boys? Well, here's something to review right from your house. Eat24. That's right, eat24.com. With over 25,000 restaurants for you to choose from when you're hungry. Many in your area. So review that, boys. Eat24.com. Click, order, and eat. Eat24.com. The small city of Rockton, Illinois, is stunned by the brutal and senseless murder of an entire family, leaving only the father to pick up the pieces of his shattered life. Two rookie detectives are at odds, but before they get a chance to stop him, the killer strikes again. Will Detective Max Larkin and Detective Jesse Fairlane put their personal differences aside so they can stop the killer from striking again? Find out in the new suspense thriller, Time Killer. From author Todd M. Thede. Available in hardcover, softcover, and Kindle at Amazon.com. We love your dogs and kitties. We love them. Yes, we do. So when you want to give a gift, a cake or treat or two, PamperedPawGifts.com is the place for you. Yes, PamperedPawGifts.com is the place for you. There is nothing in this world that can make or break your day like a comfortable pair of shoes. And if you're a woman like me, then the perfect shoes are as seductive as the perfect full-bodied wine coupled with a smooth, dark Belgian chocolate. Mm. Or a steaming hot bubble bath at the end of a long day. (laughs) Let's be real, ladies. The perfect pair of shoes can even be better than spine-tingling bone melting, body shivering. Well, you know what I mean. So, where do you get your perfect pair of shoes? Savvy Souls, where chic meets comfort at the intersection of satisfaction, swank, and trendy. Go to www.forsavvysouls.com for 50 to 70% off on the latest spring styles or find them on Facebook today. Savino Wine Preservation System is wine preservation glassware. Savino is an easy-to-use wine preservation system that allows you to enjoy your favorite wines anytime without waiting for an occasion. 
Open any bottle with confidence, knowing that you can enjoy the full original flavor of Tuesday's wine on Saturday. For more information, visit us at www.savinowine.com. Today's wine, tomorrow. Your search for love and companionship ends here. Join now at TalkToSingles.com for free. It's a new, high-quality, internet-based personal dating service that allows single men and single women to meet and engage in electronic conversation in the safety and comfort of their home computer. It's a dedicated team providing online dating services for successful matchmaking. Join today absolutely for free and start connecting with singles in your area now. And check out the Android app. Go to TalkToSingles.com. That's talk number 2 singles.com. This is Matt Hazley, your host of Straight Talk. Come join me every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Arm Radio, home of the big guns. Boom. All right, welcome back, folks. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Eat24.com. Go to Eat24.com. Put in your zip code. They will find a restaurant around you that will bring food to your front door. Get their app from the iStore on your brand new bendable and flexible iPhone 6. (laughs) Or for those of us with a real life, get it from the uh, Google Store for your Android phone. And you can get the eat24.com app, put in your zip code, and they'll bring it to wherever you're at. You'll be standing on the side of the road somewhere. They'll bring it to you. Let's go to the Ring Central Celebrity Hotline. Uh, we had a guest last week uh, in studio uh, actually participate in the phone in the uh, uh, football picks. So we'll have him back, try to get a hold of Joe Huggins. See if they'll pick up. <clears throat> he might not. You have reached the print voice. Now. And he won't. Okay. Well, I tell you what, we're going to go back uh, and we're going to get Nate on here because me and Nate, we're going to be here all season long. All righty. Let's get this going. I'm actually still ahead overall. But Nate and I, uh, uh, Nate and I, uh, tied last week. Hello. Hello. What's going on, man? I almost had you. If Jeremy Curley could have brought that pass down in the end zone, well, I don't put that on him. <laughs> <laughs> he actually had a really good game. He was the leading receiver in that game. So. Uh, uh, Big shout out yeah. to the ex Huddle Hippo playing for the New York yeah. Jets. It's kind of cool. Yeah, for fourth round pick to their best receiver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's uh, small too. Not a big guy, so he's uh, he's making it happen. Well, you and I both got five wrong. We only got two of the same picks wrong. <laughs> And Joe got four wrong, but I couldn't get him to pick up his phone, so he might have forgot about the. Uh, he might we might have scared him off. With uh, our, he might just be a one hit wonder since he only got four wrong. With with our ineptness. <laughs> matter of fact, you know I'm a quit wall in my head. <laughs> Let's see. Last week, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we both we tied last week too. So in week one, I think I got you by one. So I'm only up by one. Hmm. And I still got to get those. Re- I still got to go get those results because uh, I, I messed around and erased it. But I'll get those later. Mm. Yeah, I'll shoot them over to you here in a little while. Yeah, uh, <clears> got them written that. down in the trusty notebook. <laughs> high speed, high tech. Well, well, Buffalo uh, came back down to earth. Yeah, I kind of had the feeling that was gonna, that was coming. Yeah, that that that, that surprised me. Uh, I think they're in the inconsistent stage of being a halfway decent football team, to tell you the truth. Uh, but, uh, God dang it. There we go. It was week three. Yeah, Buffalo, well, 22 10. That's not. They got yeah, well, and they were playing the Chargers, who are a good football team. They're on the cusp of. They have been a good football team for a while now. 
Yeah, EJ, uh, EJ uh, Manuel went 23, 39, 238 with a passing touchdown, but got sacked three times. Uh, he got yanked late in the game for Jackson, who didn't complete a pass. Yeah. Uh, Phillip Rivers, 18, 25, 256, two touchdowns, and got sacked twice. So their offensive line is still suspect. But you're right, San Diego is surprising a lot of people. Well, they shouldn't. They've been a good team for a very long time. And they just haven't been they playing. They shouldn't be like, surprising anybody. Well, they they don't play very good. They're, they're kind of like the they're kind of like the Detroit they're, Lions of the West. No, they they've been in the playoffs. Um, so they're not really the Detroit Lions of the West. Mm, not really. Who would I compare to? Maybe the Bears of the West. The Bears of the West. <laughs> Team that gets there every once in a while. Gets there about every other year or so. We'll get there. You know. And you yeah, s- about every other year or so they get there. And they had a pretty good run not too long ago. And now you're seeing what's going on here. So you, you, I stayed loyal to my Lions. And and you didn't jump on the bandwagon and you got, and you got stung. But I picked yeah, the that Cowboys. Yeah, that was actually the one that surprised me. You know, the Packers only putting up seven points really surprised me. Well, you know what surprised me is the Lions offense only put up seven. No, the Lions put up 19. Yeah, their offense. Oh, their offense, yeah. Only put up yeah. seven. <laughs> well, yeah, no, so it's 10. 10. Their, their, their offense only put up 10. Their defense put yeah. up nine. <laughs> and was just overwhelming. I mean, it, it, but the offense has got to do better. Uh, they, they got out with that win. Uh, I was watching it, and it's just, it's the Lions. I mean, they, well, those are those, those division games are ugly every time. Uh, well, you know, the Lions. Well, see, the, you have a division game, it's going to be ugly. I mean, look at the Browns and Ravens. Yeah, but the Lions are just ugly all the time. It doesn't matter if it's a division game or not. About the only time they play halfway decent is on Thanksgiving, and they haven't really done very good in the last couple of years in that. So, uh, we'll see. Well, they've done well enough that people aren't saying get them off of pulling from it yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah that's that was true. Happening a lot. That's true. The 0-16 era. Well, the Patriots beat Oakland barely. That yeah. surprised me. I thought that was going to uh, be a, a higher scoring game, and they barely got out of there with their teeth. Uh, the Pats' offense is horrible. Oh, he's They're yeah. atrocious. You know the game, though. You know the team I've been calling. Arizona Cardinals put it on the Niners. Oh, they did. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I'm losing faith in the Niners. Every week. Uh, yeah, I, I had none walking yeah, into this season week. after watching, like I said, watching that preseason. Wasn't, wasn't how they played, and it wasn't, wasn't the score of the games in the preseason. It was how they looked, and they looked bad. And they were gifted a win against Dallas. Now, do you uh, do you think uh, do you think Harbaugh is out of there? you think Harbaugh is going to go to Michigan? Oh, man. I, if the Michigan job comes up, I don't know how he turns that down. I, I don't know how he can. Well, hoax out. But, hoax but out. I said that. Hoax he's out. The 49ers in the NFC Championship game. Yeah, and he also uh, brought Stanford back to prominence when he was a head coach there. So he's a good coach. Yeah, and he had, I mean, he had them on the verge in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Actually, he had them in the Super Bowl. Yeah, against his brother. Him and his brother. Yeah, yeah him and his brother. So I don't, they're not going to fire Harbaugh. Hard no, no, they, but he, he shelved his, uh, he's not under contract after this year. He shelved his contract. Yeah. He tabled his contract and negotiations. And beautiful stadium. Still got a good team. Just needs to get some of these players ah. back from suspension and healthy. Ann Arbor, big house, man. That's like f- football. Yeah, and, it, and if you're and if you're a, a blue alum, I mean, it's kind of a dream job. You know, that's that's if you've yeah, never. Then you have to play in the Big Ten. I mean, I mean that's a that's a religious experience. Yeah, but the Big Ten. Yeah, but the Big Ten is it needs it needs a, it. The Big Ten needs a strong Michigan and Ohio State. It needs it. It can't be it can't be depending on Rutgers. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I get that, but do you want to be the guy in, responsible for bringing back the Big Ten? Yeah, I can't That's see it. it. I don't know. I think uh, you have reached the Prince voicemail box.